Hey YouTubers and radio hobbyists, wanted to share with you some of the fantastic results I've been getting recently with my vertical antenna. I'm going to show you what that's all about and uh, let's have a look at my logbook for proof. S stay tuned! <laughs> Here's a uh, wide angle shot of the antenna we're talking about. This is my vertical. So this is a 31 foot fiberglass mast. And uh, we're gonna take a little bit of a closer look and uh, visit my uh, one and only antenna right now. So, okay, we've got some help, but um, here we are. This is uh, the uh, match, match. Uh, it's a nine to one un un. And it's from urchi.org, and we'll take a look at that web page uh, a little later. So anyway, I've just got a kind of hack set up here. Um, you can see the wire going up the pole here. It goes right to the top, and it's secured at the top with, uh, I forget, I folded her over through a loop and taped it off. This is held off with just, you know, fiberglass zip ties. And because of the lightweightness of this whole setup, that's all I really needed and uh, there's no metal interacting with this uh, antenna at all. Um, it's basically ground mounted and no radials whatsoever. Um, but I'm getting um, really good results with this and uh, so I wanted to uh, share that with you guys. Okay, cat. Um, so here's uh, my logbook. Um, you can see that uh, here's my latest entries and uh, you can see that just about everything is FT8. Now that might be uh, part of the reason why I'm having such good luck, as uh, FT8 is this brand new mode that is taking off like wildfire. But look at some of the contacts I've had. Two Japan, uh, several Japans, um, Australia, uh, here's an, a VK, um, and this is with low power even. Like I'm not ever running more than I need to, which is usually, you know, 10 to 50 watts. Maybe I had to run 50 watts to get Australia. I can't remember. I start low, and if I'm having trouble making the guy, I turn it up a little bit. And I think that's, you know, following the convention of operating with the uh, as little power as possible. So, uh, yeah, look at these, you know. Here's the... Here's the log entry showing um, that I'm using the uh, urchi.org antenna on my ICOM 7300. I've also used it on my Flex 6300. Same results, you know, it's working really well. There's my signal report. Um, yeah, just uh, even with the sunspot conditions as they are these days with the cycle where we're at, awesome results. So this is the pole I'm using. Um, you can basically use any fiberglass pole. I know other people have their preferred favorites and that's fine. Um, you know, this thing was rel relatively cheap and it's the 31 foot or 33 foot. I forget exactly, I can't really read this. Um, either way, um, the wire antenna I'm using is a 31 foot. So you just need a pole that can accommodate that. Uh, so take your pick, um, and uh, when I extend mine, I use a little bit of glue because they do tend to collapse on themselves, and uh, so that makes it kind of a permanent installation when I put mine up. Uh, they're cheap enough that if I ever uh, move or something, I just uh, throw it out and buy a new one. So uh, that's what it looks like. Um, kind of a nice shine on it, and it's black, so you can doesn't stick out uh, yeah uh, so the uh, box the antenna itself google urchi.org and here's the link right here for their uh, antenna now I'm not affiliated with either MFJ or urchi.org so I'm not making any money or anything off these things I'm just sharing the results that I'm getting with you guys in hopes that uh, you know if uh, you guys try it out, you might get similar results. So you can buy the assembled kit. That's what I did. Um, I'm not, I don't want to fiddle with winding toroids and stuff. Um, but they also give you just the plans. If you don't want to buy it, uh, here's the parts that you needed. 
that are needed and you can assemble your own so uh, you can download this PDF and uh, go nuts um, that's what it looks like on the inside of mine and uh, yeah and there's a closer look at it there's the wiring diagram super simple they might not be the most effective radiators being nine to ones um, but you don't have to get that much out power out um, if you've got it going in the right direction and with verticals you know you've got kind of a low angle of radiation usually so um, it's working for me um, I'm ha really happy with this setup so uh, check it out guys um, hope you enjoyed the video